The straight or inline engine is an internal combustion engine with all cylinders aligned in one row and having no offset. In this engine construction, the cylinders are placed in a straight line, as shown here. The inline engine can have up to two, three, four, five, six, or eight cylinders. The inline engine type design is simple, hence, it is considerably easier and cheaper to manufacture than a horizontal or a V engine, because the cylinder bank and crankshaft can be milled from a single metal casting, requiring fewer cylinder heads and camshafts. Inline engines are smaller in overall physical dimensions than designs, such as the radial, and can be mounted in any direction. These engines are very common in vehicles with an engine capacity of up to 3 liters. Although, the manufacturers term an inline engine with four cylinders as an inline four engine. They usually denote it by I4 or L4 in a car's nomenclature. The inline engines have been used in automobiles, locomotives, and aircraft, although the term inline has a broader meaning when applied to aircraft engines. So today, in this video, we look at different inline engines used in the automotive industry. The different types of straight engines are straight two, also known as the parallel twin. Straight 3, or inline triple. Straight 4. Straight 5. Straight 6. And straight 8. Straight twin engine. A straight twin engine, also known as an inline twin, vertical twin, or parallel twin engine. It is a two-cylinder piston engine, with cylinders arranged in a line along with a common crankshaft. Straight twin engines are primarily used in motorcycles, other uses include automobiles, snowmobiles, jet skis, all-terrain vehicles, and tractors. Various crankshaft configurations have been used for straight twin engines, the most common being 360, 180, and 270 degrees. Straight twins are more compact, a simpler design, and cheaper to produce when you compare them with V-twin and flat twin engines. But a significant disadvantage is that they tend to vibrate more because of torsional torque applied between the pistons moving in the opposite direction and large reciprocating mass in the case of the 360-degree crankshaft in parallel twin. The irregular firing pulse on the 180-degree crankshaft is another reason for vibrations. Although two-cylinder engines are uncommon in cars, the straight twin layout has been used for several automobile engines over time. The first known straight twin engine was a variant of the Daimler Motors Phoenix engine, introduced in 1895, these engines were used in panhard cars. Straight twin engines have been used in various small cars, such as the 1957 Fiat 500, Subaru 360, NSU Prince, Mitsubishi Minica, Honda N360, Fiat 126, and Dacia Lasten. Petrol straight twin engines are used in the Tata Nano, and the Fiat Twin Air engine, used in various models from Fiat, Lancia, and Alfa Romeo. Diesel straight twin engines are also used in the Piaggio Porter engine. Straight 3 engine. A straight three engine, also called an inline triple or inline three, is a three cylinder piston engine where cylinders are arranged in a line along with a common crankshaft. Straight three engines typically use a crankshaft angle of 120 degrees, resulting in an evenly spaced firing interval. A three cylinder engine is much more fuel efficient than a four cylinder engine of the same size. This is because of two primary factors reduced frictional losses and lighter weight. Since there is one cylinder less, the frictional losses caused by metal surfaces coming in contact within the engine block are lesser. This translates to more force production for lesser fuel. The straight three-cylinder engines provide better fuel efficiency due to the lesser number of cylinders than a four-cylinder engine and consume less fuel in running the engine. The fewer cylinders make it fuel efficient and hence a vital choice for smaller cars that market themselves based on their mileage. The disadvantages of straight three engines is that, the lower amount of cylinders makes the engine respond in a bit delayed manner. Although the difference seems negligible, the difference can be felt by someone who has driven or is used to driving a four-cylinder. The three cylinders perform most of the work, making them a tad bit noisier than their four-cylinder counterparts. Among the first cars to use a straight three engine is the 1953-1955 DKW F91, Powered by a 900cc two-stroke engine, it was a German car and motorcycle mark. 
From 1956 to 1960, we saw the introduction of 750cc two-stroke engine in Saab 93, which was also used in the Saab 95, Saab 96, and Saab Sonnet until 1968, after which it was replaced by the Ford Taunus V4 engine. The Wartburg cars and FSO Serena also used straight three engines. The 1967 Suzuki Fronte 360 uses a 256cc two-stroke engine. The Subaru EF engine is a four-stroke petrol engine which was introduced in 1984 and used in the Subaru Justy and the Sumo. The straight three versions of the Ford EcoBoost engine, a turbocharged 1.0-liter petrol engine, was used in the 2012 Ford Focus. BMW i8 is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, also uses a turbocharged 1.5-liter inline three-cylinder gasoline engine. Straight 4 engine. And straight 4 engine, also known as inline 4 engine, is a prevalent choice for today's economy vehicles. The simple design allows for both efficiency and perfect primary balance. In an I4 engine, all four cylinders are mounted in a straight line along a single crankshaft and oriented in an inclined or vertical plane. When a straight 4 engine is installed at an inclined angle, instead of with the cylinders oriented vertically, it is sometimes called a slant 4. Compared with a V4 engine or a flat-4 engine, a straight-4 engine only has one cylinder head, which reduces complexity and production cost. Today, nearly all four-cylinder engines use the inline-4 layout. However, both Porsche and Subaru are exceptions, these manufacturers use a flat-4 or horizontally opposed layout, where the pistons lay in two sets of opposing groups along with the crankshaft. Four-cylinder cars suit every driving situation, from city and neighborhood roads to open highways. The inline-4 is small and compact, and it easily fits in nearly any engine bay. It's also lightweight, and weight is further reduced with only one exhaust manifold. With only one cylinder head, there are fewer moving parts than engines with multiple cylinder banks. This means less energy is lost, which reduces the probability of malfunctions. Primary forces are balanced because the outside two pistons move opposite to the inside two pistons and four-cylinder engines require lower manufacturing costs. The disadvantages of straight-four engine is that the secondary forces are not balanced, which ultimately limits the size of the engine. Inline fours will rarely exceed 2.5 liters to 3 liters. Larger four-cylinder engines will often require balancing shafts to cancel the vibration caused by the secondary imbalance. Most modern straight-four engines used in cars have a displacement of 1.5 to 2.5 liters, the smallest automotive straight four engine was used in the Honda T360K truck and has a displacement of 356 cc. While the largest mass produced straight four car engine is the Mitsubishi 4M41 diesel engine, which was used in the Mitsubishi Pajero. Mercedes AMG's new 416 HP engine is the world's most powerful four cylinder engine. The turbocharged 2.0 liter inline four will be stuck in cars like the A45, CLA45, and GLA45. Toyota Prius Honda Accord Chevrolet Malibu Hyundai Elantra Honda Civic Type R and Ford Mustang EcoBoost are the examples of straight four engines. Straight 5 engine. The straight 5 or inline 5 engine is an IC engine with five cylinders aligned in one row, sharing a single engine block and crankcase. The justification for a five cylinder engine is that it is compact as an inline 4 and almost as smooth as a straight 6 engine. Manufacturers from Acura to Volvo have experimented with this odd numbered design with varying degrees of success since the 1974 Mercedes Benz 240D. Straight 5 in diesel models. The Lancia 3RO military truck was fitted with a straight 5 diesel engine in 1938. The first production inline 5 engine for a passenger vehicle was the Mercedes Benz OM617, a 3.0 liters diesel engine introduced in 1974 and used in the Mercedes Benz 300D. Audi produced a number of 5 cylinder diesel engines for the Audi 100 and Audi A6, 
from 1978 to 1997. This engine is also used in several Volvos and Volkswagen vans. In the late 1990s, Rover Group developed an in-house inline-5 diesel engine, the TD5, for the Land Rover Discovery and Defender. Since 2006, Ford has produced a turbocharged 3.2-liters five-cylinder engine named Duratorque for the Ford Transit, Ford Ranger, and Mazda BT-50. Fiat produced a turbocharged 2.4-liters inline-five diesel engine in the 90s. This engine was used in the Fiat Maria, Lancia Kappa, Lancia Libra, Lancia Thesis, Alfa Romeo 156, 166, and 159 straight 5 petrol engine. Audi unveiled the first production petrol inline 5, a 2.1 liters engine, in the 1976 Audi 100. Audi used 2.2 liters straight 5 engines in many of their cars between 1976 and the early 1990s, including the Audi Sport Quattro and the Audi RS2 Avant. An Audi 5-cylinder engine was also used in the Atal Design Aztec concept car. In 2009, Audi began using a new turbocharged 5-cylinder engine in the Audi TT RS and later the Audi RS3 and the in the Audi Quattro concept. Honda produced the G-Series 5-cylinder engine beginning in 1989 and used it in the Honda Vigor, Inspire, Ascot, Rafaga, and Acura TL. Volkswagen used inline-5 engines in their Eurovan and developed a different inline-5 engine which was used in the Volkswagen Jetta, Passat, Golf, and New Beetle in North America until the early 2010s. Straight six cylinder engine. The straight six engine, also referred to as an inline six engine, is an IC engine with six cylinders, mounted in a straight line along the crankcase with all the pistons driving a common crankshaft. In automobiles, the straight six design is used for engine displacements ranging from approximately 2,000 to 5,000 cubic centimeters. It is also sometimes used for smaller engines, but these, although very smooth running, tend to be rather expensive to manufacture in terms of cost to power ratio. Since the length of an engine is roughly proportional to the number of cylinders in one bank, the straight six is longer than alternative layouts such as I4, V4, V6, or V8. The bank of cylinders may be oriented at any angle, and where the bank is inclined away from the vertical, the engine is sometimes called a slant six, although this is also a Chrysler specific design. The straight six layout is the simplest engine layout that possesses both primary and secondary mechanical engine balance, resulting in much less vibration than engines with fewer cylinders. Straight six engines are more powerful and reliable. The disadvantage of the straight six is that it is more expensive to produce, which can add to the selling price of the vehicle. Cars with this engine have less interior space due to the larger engine. And for some reasons, several models of inline six are more susceptible to oil leaks, even after resealing. Alfa Romeo produced possibly the first European straight six engine for the 1921 to 1923 Alfa Romeo G1 luxury car, which was powered by a 6.3 liter flathead engine. Opel began production of automotive straight six engines in 1927 with a 1 1.8 liter flathead engine used by the Opel 8 40 PS. Models such as the 1998 to 2006 Volvo S80 used the uncommon design of a transversely mounted straight six engine. Aston Martin used a straight six for many years in their Austin Healey 3000. Some Triumph vehicles also use the Triumph straight six engines, and they are GT6, Vitesse the 2000 range, and TR6. The Chrysler Slant 6 engines used in the Plymouth Valiant and Dodge Dart, a body models of the 1960s and 1970s, and also used in the Chrysler Valiant and the Valiant Charger in Australia. Ford Falcon XR6 Turbo, Toyota Supra JZA80, Nissan Skyline GTR, BMW M3 E46, Mercedes-Benz S500, and TBR Typhon are also the examples of straight six engine.
Straight 8 Engines The Straight 8 Engine, or Inline 8 Engine, is an 8-cylinder IC engine, with all 8 cylinders mounted in a straight line along the crankcase. A straight 8 can be timed for inherent primary and secondary balance, with no unbalanced primary or secondary forces. Although an inline 6-cylinder engine can also be timed for inherent primary and secondary balance, a straight 8 develops more power strokes per revolution and as a result will run more smoothly under load than an inline 6. Also, due to the even number of power strokes per revolution, a straight 8 does not produce unpleasant odd-order harmonic vibration in the vehicle's driveline at low engine speeds. The smooth running characteristics of the straight 8 made it popular in luxury and racing cars of the past. However, the engine's length demanded the use of a long engine compartment, making the basic design unacceptable in modern vehicles. Also, due to the length of the engine torsional vibration in both crankshaft and camshaft, can adversely affect reliability and performance at high speeds. Early straight-8s ran more smoothly than their V8 counterparts, which made them the preferred choice for luxury vehicles of the time, but as technology became better and the customer demand for 20-foot-long vehicles waned, the straight-8 started to lose favor. As cars became smaller and the engine bay became tighter, the straight 8 couldn't fit in any reasonably sized vehicle. However, the biggest flaw, and the one that actually killed the straight 8 for good was something called crankshaft whip. Due to the extreme length of a straight 8's crankshaft, at high engine RPM, torsional vibration could lead to physical contact between the connecting rods and the crankcase walls, which will ultimately destroy the engine. Italy's Isata Freschini introduced the first production automobile straight 8 in their Tipo 8 08 at the Paris Salon in 1919. Leland Motors introduced their straight 8 powered Leland 8 luxury car at Olympia London in 1920. Bugatti and Duesenberg commonly used double overhead chem straight 8 engines. Bugatti experimented with straight 8 engines from 1922, and in 1924 they introduced the 2 liters Bugatti Type 35 one of the most successful racing cars of all time, which eventually won over 1,000 races. The Alfa Romeo 158-159 Alfetta was originally designed in 1937, was fitted with a straight-8 engine. Mercedes-Benz would create the last notable straight-8 racing cars in 1955, the Mercedes-Benz W196 Formula 1 racing car and the 300 SLR sports racing car. So what do you think about these engines, does your car has a straight engine or not? Tell me in the comments. Various engine layouts such as V and W are also used in the automotive industry. Click on this video to learn about V engine or click here to learn about W engine.